Hi guys, I'm Phil Sturpey. In this video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to convert an Adobe Illustrator AI file into a XAML resource dictionary with expression design. In projects for apps such as WPF, Silverlight, Windows Phone and Windows Store, resources such as brushes and styles can be stored in resource dictionaries, which are XAML files that perform a similar purpose to CSS files in web applications. Quite often, assets are created by designers using Adobe Illustrator. These assets are of more use to us as 2D vector graphics defined in XAML rather than AI files. In order to create a XAML resource dictionary from an Adobe Illustrator file, you need Expression Design. Expression Design is part of Expression Studio, which contains Expression Design and Expression Blend. It also contains Expression Encoder, which is powerful video encoding software particularly useful to Silverlight developers. And then there's Expression Web, which is a simple web authoring tool. So here's a process. In Expression Design, you need to create a new document. The dimensions are not important, as it's simply a requirement to be able to import an Adobe Illustrator file. So I'll just click OK here. Once I have a document, I can select Import Adobe Illustrator File from the File menu. As Expression Design imports the AI file, I'm warned that any text elements are converted to paths. Expression Design has identified all of the graphical elements in the AI file. Now all I want is the bike on the left, so I'll select it. I could of course have selected all three bikes. The rest of it is of no interest to me. Before I export the selected asset, I'll click on the File menu and select Crop Marks and then From Bounding Box. This allows me to specify a border around the selected shape. I don't need a border, so I'll just click OK. As you can see, Expression Design has placed a box around the selected bike. Something else to notice here is that part of the second bike appears within this space. Don't worry about that. Expression Design will know that this is part of another element and not to include it. Now that my required asset is selected, I can select Export from the File menu. A preview window has appeared showing the graphic to be exported. As you can see, the wheel of the second bike is not included. Now, Expression Design assumes that I want to export this as a PNG file, which of course I don't. I want to export it as a resource dictionary. You'll notice that the list says WPF resource dictionary. Well, in this context, there's very little difference between the syntax for a resource dictionary in WPF and other XAML using applications such as Silverlight. Windows Phone or Windows Store. Just because Expression Design doesn't mention them doesn't rule them out. So I'll go ahead and click the Export All button and it has been exported. Now I could export each bike in turn but I would probably want all three of them in the same resource dictionary. That's fine but I would space them out before doing so so that no overlapping occurred in the resulting UI. In other words the second bike wheel appearing in the first bike's image. Let me go and look for my exported resource dictionary. If I open my demo folder, you'll see that a XAML file has been created. Let me open it up in Notepad. You can see in the XAML that it contains a resource dictionary element, and that in turn contains the exported bike, which is represented here as a drawing brush. There you have it. In this video, I've shown you how easy it is to convert an Adobe Illustrator AI file into a XAML resource dictionary with Expression Design. I'll produce some more videos showing how to add a XAML resource dictionary to your project in Expression Blend and Visual Studio just as soon as I've uploaded this one. Thanks for watching, and please feel free to comment and suggest more video topics. Most of all, don't forget to subscribe to keep up with my videos as I release them. Bye for now.